Now two changes made after a grim night on the Virginia Beach oceanfront a year ago this weekend. We will not forget that Friday night when 11 people were shot. Two people died in the gunfire, including Donovan Lynch, who was shot by a Virginia Beach police officer. A year later, is the oceanfront any safer than it was? A question on a lot of people's minds tonight. And in your side's Andy Fox is live on the strip to follow up with us tonight. Andy? Yeah, Tom, people we spoke to feel safer. They also think that Virginia Beach police officers have better attitudes. Now, this is where Donovan Lynch was shot and killed by a police officer March 26th of last year. It would change the way Virginia Beach operates. After what happened one year ago tomorrow, what did we learn? What is the most important thing we learned on from March 26th? If people don't feel safe, we don't have anything. Councilwoman Rosemary Wilson calls it a wake up call, a message received. We have the shot spotter program that now the other cities around the region want to Im implement because it's been so successful. And of course the, the substation, which we wanted to do the substation for a long time, but we've got to have the space and the opportunity came up and as soon as it came up, we took it. We provide safety services for the resort area and that's very important. Carlos Torres Pablos is operations manager for Block by Block and closely associated with the resort area ambassadors. And those guys are constantly walking and patrolling the streets in the lookout for any kind of suspicious uh, activities. Uh, and we're able to assist the police in reporting that as fast as it happens. Businessman Dean Nachnani has found a kinder, gentler police officer on the street. They have been able to create an atmosphere and understand how they're communicating with our guests. Instead of looking at the letter of the law, they're looking at the intent. Councilwoman Wilson knows another March 26th is certainly possible, but also thinks the last year has made us wiser. Nobody knows what tomorrow can bring, depending on what happens, but we're doing everything we can. And remember, Andy, we've been named the safest city of our size in America. Donovan Lynch's family will have a candlelight vigil for him out here at Pacific and 20th, where he was shot and killed. That will be tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Remembering Donovan, remembering a loved one lost. That's the latest from the resort strip. Andy Fox, 10 on your side.